You ready to go? Hey, we're here. <laughs> yeah, see, CJ said we're here. Today, uh, we are sponsored again. Where are you going, Siege? Sit down. Good girl. Sit down. We are sponsored by Cruise Planners, your American Express travel representative. And today we want to talk about uh, using a travel agent and all the myths. Hey, how you doing, Alfredo? But uh, we have a lot of different... And Willie, you're on. Good deal. All the different myths on why to use a travel... Why you wouldn't use a travel agent. And so hopefully we can clear up... Okay, CJ, you get a treat. Um, and hopefully we can clear up some of those myths. And maybe you might be a little bit more comfortable because I see a lot of folks on Facebook that are on vacations and I didn't book it. <laughs> Which, uh, obviously, you have that right. You can do that. But I just want to talk about just a few things um, that... Uh, that we can help you out. So myth number one, um, you can find all the information they have on the internet. Yeah, you can. The internet's a great tool. But how many hours do you have of free time? Yes, if you're retired and you have nothing to do all day long, you could probably do that. But that's what I do. I do that all day. And I don't have to spend all day long on the internet looking for stuff because this is what I do all day, every day. So I can go and I can find these things much quicker than you can in terms of where you might want to go, destinations and stuff like that on the internet, and uh, help you. Because isn't time money? Okay. And we'll get back to money and time a little bit later in one of these myths too. Myth two, travel agents push you to book expensive resorts and cruises so I can get a higher commission. Not true at all. Uh, my job is to get you set up in the right vacation for you. Because if I get you set up in the right vacation for you, what, what does that mean? That mean, hey Rob, how are, Robert, how are you? What does that mean? You're probably gonna call and use me again. So I'm not, it's not all about the one and done. Uh, I'm not interested in the one and done. I want you to keep calling me. Hi Leanne, I want you to keep calling me and telling your friends to call me and all that. So it's all about finding the right resort and the right cruise for you. It's not about me trying to push something on you. Uh, I might introduce something that I saw as a very good deal to you, but it's a, ultimately you own the credit card, you make the decisions, I make the suggestions and the recommendations. It's all about you and what you want to do. Uh, so. Uh, whether I get more commission or I don't commit, have more commission, that doesn't drive me to find the vacation you want. Hi, Angela, how are you? Um, so that's myth number two. I'm not in it all for the commissions. I get plenty of, the government helps me out every month. So I'm not, that's not what I'm about. Travel agents only offer one size cookie cutter. You could talk to a lot of my clients. I have sold very custom trips from pieces and parts and we put it all together, um, I'll, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Uh, you're the customer and I'm providing the service. So um, we can customize it as much as you want. Uh, maybe you want a canned tour. What do you think, CJ? You ready to go? You wanna go? I know, you trust me, right? Okay. CJ's pretty good, she, she, she helps too. But uh, no, it's not co cookie cutter. Um, if you want to buy a cruise, well, there's all kinds of different kinds of cruises and what's best for you. Um, so that's not, not even putting you on a cruise is necessarily cookie cutter. So that was myth number three. Uh, myth number four, yes, I'm a little bit older than some of you, but I'm younger than a lot of you. But travel agents are dinosaurs and the internet made them obsolete. I love the internet. Google is my friend. I have, Sarah, hi, hi Sarah. <laughs> Google's my friend. There's nothing wrong with the internet. I use it all day long. I use it to help you find that trip that you want. But uh, um, let's see, what are some of the notes I have down here? The big difference is I can sort through that and that's my profession. That's what I do all day long. And for you thinking that you're gonna spend all this time and you're gonna find, especially on a cruise, oh, I'm gonna get a better deal if I book this cruise by myself through the cruise line. That is the biggest myth on the history of the world. You're not going to get it any cheaper than I can. Trust me on that. There is no way. I'm looking at exactly the, the cruise line wants me to book it for you because really it's less cost for them. Less people they have to manage, you know, I act as an agent for them. But you're not going to get it cheaper through them. You know how you'll get it cheaper through them? 
is if you book it on board. You're on a cruise and you book it on board. Yes, you'll get it better. And I encourage all my clients to book on board. So going on the internet, booking a lot of your stuff on your own, you're not, especially a cruise, you're not gonna get it any cheaper. But the nice thing is, when you book something online, you know, whether it's through Expedia, Travelocity, directly through uh, a cruise line, whatever, do they send a lot of things to you, especially Expedia, in a nice uh, document holder? Do they give you document tags? When you come back, are there cookies waiting for you? No, I'd be willing to bet. Maybe is there a bottle of wine or champagne or chocolate-covered strawberries sitting in your room when you arrive? Probably not if you book directly, especially if you book directly through the cruise line, any of that stuff. But those are things, nice things I do for you that you can't get if you do it yourself, okay? And the last myth, travel agents will charge a huge fee just for talking to them. Well, um, there's plenty of people on there. I don't charge a fee. Have I thought about charging fees? Yes. Uh, only when I'm mad and I spend a lot of time on a client and then they go and book it themselves. That's when I think about charging fees. But I don't do that. Um, I get paid by all the travel vendors on the back end. That's how I make my money. Uh, I, I like doing this. I don't necessarily do it out of the kindness of my heart. But I do like spending time and helping you. Uh, hi, Colleen. How are you? Maybe I can help you get on your next trip. Um, but... Uh, uh, I don't charge a fee. Uh, I get paid a lot of different ways. Hey Beth, how are you Beth? Tell Steve I have your documents sitting right here on my desk. Boats, Ed, my boy, how are you? So uh, don't get wrapped around this whole fee stuff and what other people charge. Um, you, you can see all that, I don't charge that. I don't charge any extra fees. I get paid by all the other companies uh, on the back end. So just some of the, the, the recap on what we talked about. One, um, you can find all the information on the internet. Yeah, you can, but how much time do you have? Two, travel, uh, push expensive resorts and, and cruise lines. No, I push what you want. That's what I push. Travel agents, one size cookie cutter. That would be myth three. No, I can do whatever custom trip you want. Um, Travel agents, we're dinosaurs. Yes, I might be in my 50s now, but I'm not a dinosaur. And I love the internet. Google is my friend. I'm just quicker at it than a lot of you guys because I do it all day long. And travel agents will charge you a fee. I don't charge fees. I don't, I don't charge fees. Um, I make enough money on my commission. That's how I make my living, strictly on commission. I, <laughs> no hourly wage, strictly on commission. And I, I earn it on the back end. So um, a lot of different things I can do to help you that costs you nothing. Uh, I'm here about giving you advice. I'm more of an, an advisor than an agent. I'm going to advise you. Ultimately, you make the decision on whether you want to purchase the trip or not. You have all the power. What do you think, CJ? CJ, you ready to go? I think you are. How about a treat? You want a treat? So um, I talked about last week, uh, National Plan of Cruise Month. Lots of deals out there. Um, and I can sift through some of those deals. You'll see some of them on the internet. Some sound better than what they really are. Uh, and I can let you know whether it's true or not and all that. So take the time. I'd love to uh, set up an appointment with you. If you're local, we'll meet for lunch. If you're not, we'll set up an appointment and do it uh, via the phone or I can even uh, FaceTime you and all that. But I can help with a lot of stuff. Um, stop wasting your time on the internet. Tell me what you want and we'll put it all together. Uh, Raylene, some people are putting together our 40th year. Yeah, 20. Yeah, there you go. We can do a cruise off, off SoCal in 2020, and we can start booking that now for you uh, if you want. Um, but uh, just take the time, and, and we'll be happy to put anything you want together. Hi, Aurora. Hi, Aurora. Maybe I can send you to Cancun. <laughs> so um, I think that's about it. It's Friday night. It's about time for the weekend. We cracked a beer open. You want a beer, Siege? No, CJ doesn't want a beer. But it's time for the weekend. Be safe. If you're going to have a few of these, make sure you use Uber or Lyft. But I want to see you next weekend, uh, next uh, Friday, and we'll talk. I'll come up with a new topic. What do you think, CJ? What, sh what should we talk about? I don't know. We'll, we'll come up with something. Maybe you can give me some input over the course of the week, what you want to talk about. What information are you looking for to help plan your trip? 
and me and CJ will put a presentation together for you on Friday. So, Dave, how are you? Yes. Uh, Hangover. Yes, the best movie ever. <laughs> so, uh, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next Friday. Peace out.